And we're delighted to bring Patrick Kane into the conversation here. Patrick, thank you for this. The first thought that I had is what is it like to be back out on the ice again? You guys are accustomed to skating every day of your lives, and obviously these last three months have been different. What has it been like to be back out there? Well, it feels good. It feels good to have some type of normalcy back in our life. Um, I think more than anything, we we love being on the ice. We love skating, and uh, that's how it's been for us the past. I think we've been on the ice four days now, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, last week, and then today again. So nice to be back out there. Nice to just play the game we love. How much time do you think you need and your teammates will need in order to be in the kind of shape that you need to be in to play meaningful NHL games? It's a good question. I think everyone's going to be a little bit different. I think, um, you know, for me personally, I think I'm a guy that needs to be on the ice a lot, to skate a lot, to really feel like I'm, I'm dialed in and ready to go. So that's why I'm trying to get out there as early as possible and get as much time on, on the ice as, uh, as I can. Um, but it sounds like we'll have enough time. It sounds like um, from, uh, you know, what they're saying, training camps would open on July 10th if that tends to happen and should give us, uh, you know, about three weeks to get ready for the season, which I think should be enough. The safety protocols have not yet been fully worked out. So what will you need to hear in order to feel comfortable that it's safe for you to go back and play? Yeah, that's a good question. I think um, I think that's the, the biggest concern maybe right now with the players. There's obviously some, some other issues that we're trying to get sorted out as well. But you want to be safe. You want to be healthy. I mean, we don't want to put ourselves uh, ahead of everyone else in the world just, uh, just so we can play a sport and play hockey again. We want to make sure everything's taken care of. Just from being back and all the, the measures we're taking so far, it seems like they're kind of ahead of the curve and taking all the precautions that are necessary to keep us safe and healthy. Just, just being at the rink right now, whether it's, you know, getting tested a couple times a week for COVID or um, the precautions are taken while we're at the rink, um, they're definitely uh, doing everything they can. So that's appreciative. Let's talk about the fans. I've been in that building. I covered sports in Chicago for a long time. There is nothing like the sound and the feel and the energy in an arena during an NHL playoff game. Obviously, it isn't going to be that this year without the fans in the seats. What do you anticipate that being like? Well, I mean, like you said, I mean, you, you maybe take it for granted a little bit because, um, you know, we are so lucky and fortunate to have 22,000 fans every night in our building. And uh, it just seemed like another game. You know, it was the last uh, I've been there. This is my 13th year now. And it just seemed like every night it was sold out. And, Maybe you take it for granted a little bit. So um, obviously we won't be able to have that. But um, I think I, I would like to think once you, you get into um, competitive games, um, I think hockey hockey players are pretty competitive in general, that uh, you know what you're playing for. You know there's a chance that the opportunity to play in the playoffs and, and to win a Stanley Cup, I think that's an amazing opportunity for any hockey player. And uh, I don't think any anyone would really worry about um, – uh, kind of the viewing if uh, if someone won a championship or an asterisk if if you'd like to say because it's it's unprecedented it's unprecedented times and uh, um, us as players I mean I think uh, anytime you get a chance to compete for a Stanley Cup uh, you're doing that and uh, um, taking advantage fully of it so um, uh, like you said no fans would be totally different but um, take maybe a little bit away from the games and the excitement but I think as players we would like to um, still put on a show because, you know, there's a lot of uh, people that be watching on TV and, and kind of increase our viewership on TV that way. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.